Hello everybody, welcome to Experience Jesus with ABJ Apostle Victor James. I'm excited and I give thanks to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for giving us another opportunity like this for us to be able to fellowship together and break the bread of life together. You and I know that this bread we break regularly on this channel is the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Now quickly. Uh, in 1 John, the Bible said that our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son. Jesus speaking as God-man in John chapter 4. He said God is a spirit and he seeks for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. After the death, the burial and resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Very clear, Paul came speaking by the Holy Ghost. In Philippians chapter 3 verse 3, Paul said very clearly, that those of us who are believers in Christ Jesus, we are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit and we put no confidence at all in the flesh. Praise God. Now what all of that means is that born again believers are the father's fulfilled desire to have spirit worshippers. Amen. Okay, real quick. Now quickly, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go to YouTube type Apostle Victor James and press that subscription button. I'll be so glad, you know, that you did that, you know. And we're also on TikTok. We have loads of teachings on YouTube, and those teachings are free. And I, I'm, I can tell you, there are all kinds of teachings on different subjects that will help your Christianity and your walk in God. Amen. I love you. Thank you for doing so. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel in Jesus' name. All right, quickly, you know, we'll not start until I say it again. Welcome to Experience Jesus with AVJ, Apostle Victor James. All right. <clears throat> um, if there's anything the devil is all out against concerning believers, there are two major things that the devil is all out against concerning um, believers. Now, there are so many things, so many areas, but two major areas. Number one is your faith. The devil does not like your faith. You know why? Your faith torments him. Your faith in God, your faith in Jesus torments the devil and hinders him. Are you seeing that? So the devil hates for you to be in faith. He doesn't like that. So you, you got to understand that as a child of God. That faith is something the devil hates for the child of God. Because he does not have the luxury of having faith in God or in Jesus. He doesn't have that luxury. Are you seeing that? So the Bible said, Faith makes us overcomers. But first of all, let me show you this. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews 11, 6. This is very important. Because you got to understand what exactly torments the devil. Frustrates the devil and puts him where he belongs as a defeated foe concerning you. That's why for everybody, the devil's primary attack against you is your faith in Jesus. That's why you see that he's doing everything on social media to make uh, especially uh, uh, guys from uh, these Muslim guys to speak against Jesus, to denounce Jesus, to talk about Jesus not being the son of God, Jesus is not God, Jesus did not die, Jesus did not resurrect, you know, most of these imams, most of these Muslims, you know, if you see them on social media, on what, uh, 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 on YouTube, on TikTok, they don't have time to talk about Muhammad anymore. They don't have time to talk about their Allah anymore. They don't even have time to talk about their Quran anymore. All they are talking and speaking about is Jesus. I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, they think they are speaking against Jesus, but the truth is this. They are helping to evangelize, promote Jesus. This God is too wise. As a matter of fact, God, Jesus is not wise. He is the wisdom of God. 
God is wisdom himself. And that's who Jesus is. You know, so when I see them, Paul said, even though he's in prison, he's bound. He said, the word of God is not bound. It's free. The word still goes out. Continue. This God is too wise, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, if he could speak through a donkey, he would use the stupidity of a man's reasoning and his religious bondage to still advance God's cause. God will use it to advance his own cause. You know? So, right now, it is Jesus that is trending all over the world. Even among Islam, Muslims, they don't talk, they don't even have time to debate about Muhammad anymore. They don't have time to debate about Allah anymore. The debate now is Jesus. Always Jesus. Always Jesus. That's to tell you Jesus is real. Jesus is life. Jesus is God. Glory be to God. Now, so the devil is all out to frustrate your faith in Jesus. So as to drop your faith. Don't do that. Whatever happens. The Bible said. But without faith. Without faith. It is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God. Must believe that God is real. Are you seeing that? Without faith. God is not pleased. As a matter of fact, I like to put it in my own words. Without faith, you can't get God to move, to get involved in your own course, to take on your course in life. You can't get God involved. So the devil knows that without faith, we become powerless, defenseless. Because God is our defense. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is our defense. Are you seeing that? The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. So the devil knows that without faith, God is not pleased. We translate into our defenselessness. So whatever it is, whatever the situation, whatever the condition, whatever the challenge, Whatever the present circumstance that you are going through, don't lose your faith in Christ. You can't lose your faith in the first place if you are born again because it's a gift of God. And the gift of God are without repentance. Whatever God has given you doesn't take back. So I'm not preaching that you don't have faith. I'm not preaching that your faith is lost. No. The devil can so becloud your mind, becloud you, with challenges, with discouragement, with discomfort, with persecution, with attacks from within and without, that your faith becomes shaky, unstable in Jesus. Are you seeing that? Because the Bible said in 1 John in chapter 5, I have to show that to you. 1 John chapter 5, in verse 5, first of all. Look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. Quickly, put 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. Watch this. This is very important. Don't allow anything. Don't let the devil use anything to strike at your faith. Don't do that. Look at in 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. Because the same thing was told us in Ephesians 6. It says, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 5, it says, Who is he that overcometh the world? Who is the person that is an overcomer? Who, who, who is the person that is eventually among us as Christians? Are you seeing what I'm saying? That is going to come out tops, regardless of the condition, regardless of the situation. Who is going to come out tops? Look at what he said. But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. <laughs> this is what torments the devil. That's why the devil, like I said, is on all social media, trying to discourage the heart of people in believing in Jesus. And is using this blind men who are supposed to be imams, afars, Muslims, that should just concentrate on preaching the things they have in the Quran. Talk about Muhammad, talk about Allah. But they've left those things. They've left those things. Their concentration is on Jesus Christ. <laughs> Their concentration. You see, because they don't know. They don't know what they are doing. I feel sorry for them. 
Because the Bible said in Ephesians chapter 4, in verse 7, look, let me show you what they are doing. I mean, why they are doing what they are doing. You, you know, let me quickly show you why they are doing what they are doing. Because they think that they are discouraging people uh, about from Jesus Christ. What they don't know is that God is using them to build Jesus' consciousness in the hearts and minds of people all over the world. So now, a lot of Muslims are turning to Jesus. They are accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. They are becoming born again because their consciousness, God is building the thought of Jesus in their subconsciousness. So even when they are at home, they are sleeping, they are eating, they are bathing, whatever it is they are doing, they are still remembering and recalling Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Are you seeing that? And gradually, their belief towards Jesus begins to grow until they get to the point where they accept and confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. So watch this. He said, verse 7, put verse, verse 17. Quickly, 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 verse 17. Let me show you what they are ignorantly doing that they don't know. He said, this I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you henceforth, he's talking to believers, he's talking to Christians, Paul is talking to Christians. He said, this I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you, you Christians now, henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Don't live like them anymore. How? How, how are they living? In the vanity of their mind. Their mind is polluted. Don't let your mind be polluted. As a child of God. Look at verse 18. Glory be to God. Verse 18. Watch this. Put verse 18. He said, their mind is polluted, having their understanding darkened, being alienated, cut off. They are cut off from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. And you and I know that the person who blinds the heart and mind of men is the devil. You see that? So they don't know. Their mind and hearts are blind. Blinded hearts and minds. That's why they think that they are speaking against Jesus. The devil is only after your faith. That's all the devil is after. It's after your faith. You know, if you can get this truth, truth established in your heart, you would never be moved. It's not that you're not going to have conditions or challenges or difficulty. The devil will even go as far as trying to use your loved ones against you. The people you work together with in your office, your working place, your community, your, your husband, your wife, your children, your parents. The devil will use anybody, your brother, your sisters, your mother, anybody, your father. The devil will, will move anybody against your faith. So you should understand the idea is not you. The idea is your faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. So whatever it is that happens, even if you miss, miss it, you miss it. You made a mistake. You know, God asked you to turn left. You now went right. You should know that God still requires that your faith be in place. Because as long as your faith is in place, every work of the devil will be quenched. Glory be to God. I, I thought I said that to somebody. As long as your faith in Jesus Christ is in place, the works of the devil will be, the arrows of the devil will be quenched. That is the beauty of your God-given faith. Let me close with this. In Ephesians chapter 6, glory be to God in heaven. From verse 16. Ephesians 6 from verse 16. Watch this. I got to close with this. Oh, glory be to God. I'm excited. No matter what it, what it is, no matter the condition or situation, my faith is in place. My faith in Jesus. Anybody who believes in Jesus is born of God. Are you seeing that? And if you are born of God, you are an overcomer. So watch this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Watch. At all times, carry faith. Don't drop your faith. Don't let the devil 
sell you doubt. Don't let the devil use pressure to sell doubt in your mind. Look, the Bible didn't say you shouldn't get angry. You know, a lot of people go to read all this Old Testament uh, 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 um, uh, proverbs. He say anger dwelleth in the bosom of a fool. No, no, no. That you that you are angry does not make you a fool. What the Bible says or teaches is that even if you are angry, do not sin. Are you seeing that? And you know, anything that is not of faith is what the Bible calls sin. First of all, watch first. <laughs> I'm telling you, watch. At all times, carry faith as a shield. Carry it as a shield. Don't let down your faith. No matter what. No matter the barrage of the enemy. Of the attacks of the devil. Even if you had something and then you lost it. Don't worry. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Keep believing that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is your helper. Jesus is your hope. Jesus is your life. Keep believing. The Bible says, for with it, with your faith, with it, you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one with your faith. You will be able to put them all out. That's what the devil does. Do. He's trying everything to discourage you. To discourage you from believing. But I came right down to tell that devil is a liar. Paul said, God has made us. Help us of your faith. I came to help your faith. I came to assist your faith. Are you seeing that? At all times, carry faith. All the time, carry it. Bounce up again in the name of Jesus. Don't try to feel God. Uh, you know, I used to feel when God, uh, I, God, God you know, ah, before when I pray like this, I used to feel God. No, no, don't try to feel God. There is nowhere God says you should feel him. We don't live by feeling. We live by faith. Are you getting it? So stop trying to feel God. You know, that you have not been praying for a while. Or because you've been lazy at praying. Does not mean God has left you. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So bounce back. Start praying in tongues. Go back to prayer. Are you seeing that? Go back to prayer. Don't go back to prayer trying to feel something. No, no, no. Don't feel anything. The just shall live by faith. Just pray by faith. You don't have to feel anything. God did not promise us feelings. He didn't promise us feelings. But it is written in Romans chapter 14. Glory be to God. Let me close with that. I'll give you that one more scripture. And then I get out of this joint. Glory be to God in heaven. So, and I know that you, are get, you, are, you have gotten something here. In Romans 14, the Bible said very clearly, in, I think in verse 28, or, you know, or, or so, I didn't write that down. Put it in King James, in verse 28. Either verse 28 or 26, you know. Because, remember, the few points I've made. The devil is all out against your faith. Are you getting that? It's not against you. It's your faith. Because anyone who believes in Jesus becomes born of God. So that faith that made you, elevated you into the position of the Son of God, that's what the devil is after. So you got to do everything to protect it, to, to keep it. Keep your faith in Jesus. Jesus is God. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my helper. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is my deliverer. Are you seeing that? Maintain that your cause. Maintain that cause. At all times, carry faith. Glory be to God. Because without it, it is impossible to please God. So to get God involved, you got to, you know, keep your faith. And now that you are keeping your faith, you should know that your faith is the weapon with which you quench all the attacks of the devil. Whatever he sends to you, whatever the enemy arrow, the arrow shot against you to make you derail in life, to confuse you, to delay you in life, in marriage, in whatever the thing you are looking for, faith is what quench, that will quench that thing. It quenches all the devil's arrows. Amen. And then, watch this. So, the devil knows that God does not want you to sin. And sin in the New Testament it's not walking or living by faith. Are you getting that? New Testament sin is you not living by faith. 
Look at it. In if it's, uh, 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 Romans, the book of Romans, chapter 14, I think verse 20, uh, what is it? Uh, either 23 or 24, you know. Uh, it says, uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah, uh, verse 23. It says, and he that doubted is damned if he eat. Of course, he's talking about eating something out of uh, doubt and all that. You know, that's not where I'm going. You know, but this is where I'm going. He said, for whosoever, I mean, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Anything that is not of faith is sin. If it is not of faith, if you once you throw faith out or take faith out to do anything, God consider you as to be sinning. Are you seeing that? So the devil wants to position you that way, a sinner. Don't sin. You know, don't sin. Keep your faith. Your faith is precious. Precious faith. Are you seeing that? Even Peter, speaking concerning our faith, he said, Jesus, whom we have not seen, yet we believe. He said, there's a reward for it. God said, there's a reward. We have not seen Jesus here, yet we believe. All right? Don't lose your faith. Don't let your condition make you, uh, see what? No, no, don't do that. You know, stand up by faith and go for Jesus. Believe one more. One more time, believe. In Jesus' name. All right. I thank the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus. And I know that somebody has been blessed listening to this in Jesus' name. You know, um, if this teaching is a blessing to you, please share it. Share it. Our brothers and sisters all over the world need it. People are going through stuff. And the devil is trying to cripple the faith of believers. So we've got to share this thing, to encourage somebody by all means in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know. All right. And you know, we will not end our broadcast without asking you to give. So I'm going to ask you right now to give and to support us financially. You know, those of you who are supporting us from all over the world financially to keep this thing on air, you know, to keep it going steadily. Thank you and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God continue to bless you and keep you, your family, your loved one, your job in good health you know, and in peace, in Jesus' precious name. So wherever you are right now, if you are in Nigeria, anywhere in Nigeria, you can use any one of our giving platform, Zenith Bank, 1001-488-167. Or you can use Access Bank, 14333-73574. Or you can use our Guarantee Trust Bank, 001-686-4121. If you are outside of Nigeria, anywhere in the world, whether in Canada, America, Australia, you're in Qatar, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, or Turkey, uh, or Kuwait, you know, anywhere you are in the world, whether in England, uh, in London specifically, or anywhere in Europe, you know, and you want to support us financially, you can use any of our international giving platform. It's guaranteed trust bank. You can download that on um, Play Store or Google it. Guarantee Trust Bank. The SWIFT code is GTBINGLA. And the US dollar account is 001-686-4145. The Great British Pound account is 001-686-4169. And the Euro account is 001-686-4179. Thank you for giving and the Lord bless you. Please don't forget it. Maintain your faith. Carry your faith always. God bless you. Until I see you on the next episode, this is ABJ, Apostle Victor James, and guess what I'm about to do? I'm signing out. God bless you. Bye-bye.